2020. Win together. Second match of this doubleheader on the Super Saturday gets going quite late. If you're in Sri Lanka, we hope that you're locked on for the entertainment. It's the Gold Gladiators up against the Colombo Kings. Earlier at the toss, Shai De Freedy winning the toss and electing to bowl first. Good decision by him. He wants to see what's the target. And it's a five over affair, Colombo Kings. Making one change to their team. Daniel Bell Drummond in the side for Manpreet Goni. Bell Drummond, an international from the UK. And they'll be hoping to back up their win. Gold Gladiators, on the other hand, making two changes. Dananjaya Lakshan in, the right handed medium pacer. And Zazai, the Afghanistan international, in the side for this five over affair. Well, I mentioned it's a five over affair, and that's because we've had a lot of rain between matches. Five overs per side, two bowlers cannot, can bowl a maximum of two overs. One bowler can bowl a maximum of one. Not a lot to think about there for the captains. The focus will be on the batting and also keeping the ball dry. Evening to Amir Sohil. Roshan Abasinghe, what can we expect? Evening. I think it's going to be uh, fireworks. <laughs> Five overs. Well, we've had three hours of rain, and you mentioned, Roshan, how good the ground staff has been here. They've been able to cover the pitch, secure the surface. The pitch looks in very good condition. Yes, there's a bit of dew. A little bit of that spillover from the rain. Andre Russell. Oh, he's a dynamite. He can destroy any bowling attack in the world on his day. Darren, perfect setup. Perfect setup. Bit of seam movement. You will get that lateral movement. We spoke about the moisture, the rain on the surface. away Andrew Russell gets going gets going very early in this game oh he wrenched it didn't he he hit the ball with all the disdain and contempt in the world wow flatter than flat that six was flat batter it hardly went off the ground I mean it didn't go high it really didn't go high normally it would go it would be very high and over the ground it's so flat very nearly hit those boundary boards. Giving himself room. Another boundary. And this is Russell's style of batting in T20s. Took a lot of pace on the ball. He was looking to bowl the change up. It's just that Russell anticipated it very well. He just opened that front foot, waited for it. And then with that large gap, the length allowed him to play that shot. And he goes again, bat on ball, and it flies all the way for a six. Or uh, if the batsman is given the license to go after the baller, you have to feel for the ballers, and especially when Andre Russell is batting. Well, is his coming events casting shadows? They've got, what, 17 runs of four balls? By the looks of it, they might get more than 20 runs. So, well, we're going to be in for some real entertainment. Ooh, ooh. And it's not Bam Bam stuff. And it goes for four. How unfortunate. Most expensive over of the tournament so far. 26 of the over, the first over. Goes for a wide and add four. That's in the air. And taken. First blood drawn. Melinda Should Silivanathan. give him a lot of confidence. 
Melinda Sirivardana, the catcher, that was a very good catch. It was, it was running away from him. He had to come around. <coughs> we spoke about uh, this being a learning experience. This will do a wealth of good for Fernando. Getting a wicket in his first over in a pressure situation. Wow. That's excellent. Exactly what the My 11 Circle LPL is meant to do for the young Sri Lankan players. Xela de Silva goes without scoring. 31 for 1. Oh, that's a big hit. Another six. So we speak about the experience, the learning curve. So these are these are good good moments, good lessons that he could learn. Another one. Flat batted it. And another my circ my eleven circle. Champion boundary. We'll find the fielder. Oh my god. And he fumbles. Well, well, well. Goes straight and goes long. One bounce into the boundary. Russell on fire. End of the power play overs. It's 52 for one. Edged away for Tuitas boundary. It's raining boundaries in this innings. Colombo Kings on fire with the bat. It doesn't matter how it comes, as long as it comes. It could be off the middle of the bat, or it could be an inside edge. All they want in five overs is value. Value for their shots. Spoiled. Conceding a boundary. End of the third, it's 63 for one. Goes high, goes long. Gets a good result. Colombo Kings continue to pile on the runs. Absolutely. Shiraz's last two was good. Just 11 runs. It was a great uh, performance. When you, when you consider that there were 26 runs overs. And this is a good start to the over. Colombo Kings looking to make amends for what they lost out in the Chiraz over. Goes again. And another six. Wow. Good support for Andre Russell. It's not Mohammed Amir's night. Definitely not. Whatever he has tried, gone to the boundary line. Oh, nicely done. It's not all prone when it comes to Andre Russell. There are brains as well. 53 of what? 14 balls, eight fours, and three sixers, and the strike rate is 378. Fifth fastest mm. half century in T20 cricket. No surprises there. Andre Russell. Holds that position now. Wow, we've seen some great entertaining striking. Catch it! Oh! oh. It's not on me, man! Well, it should have stopped. It should have stopped the boundary. We should have thought about stopping the ball within the boundary as well. I'm quite sure okay. that's the right decision because at this stage you shouldn't be thinking about getting a wicket it's about containing run scoring already 89 and that's what Afridi is so upset about <laughs> clipped away goes over the boundary another six for Andrew Russell he's making look it look very easy that was a gift, wasn't it? A full toss. Oh, that was marginal. Very close to be a no ball. Hmm. 
should be running for two. He's in a royal touch, isn't he? Andre Russell. What entertainment. What entertainment. In five overs, he contributed heavily with 65 to the total of 96. Brilliant. And take a look at the batting card. I, I think the Gladiators did slightly better. They were going at 26 runs. They brought the average down to just under 20. But still, it's a daunting task. 96 for one, five overs. Yeah, you talked about he didn't even break a sweat. Now, if you don't understand the meaning of walk in the park, and that was walk in the park for Andre Russell, he made every baller pay. Mohammad Ahmed was the main sufferer, going for 46 in just two overs. So the target, 97 will be required from just 30 deliveries. Only time will tell whether the Gold Gladiators can get this one. Right, here we go. Mickey Arthur, what are your thoughts? Well, that was absolute carnage out there. Andre Russell, fantastic. Odana. Slow ball first up. Bit of a miss field, bit of a knock on. Will they come back for the second? Yes, they do. They're going to have to run back, double up with everything. Bit of swing. And he went with the swing. A couple of bounces, and that's gone for four. Atazulu Zaiza has done extremely well at the top of the order for Afghanistan. He certainly gets him, gets him going. Great. Oh, that was actually Danushka going to Laka. He's uh, a little bit of width. He hits extremely well over extra cover. We highlighted that fact in the first game. Hit that well enough. That's gone for six. That's a very good shot. Beautifully played. Yeah, in the hunt. Four balls, 14. Required rate around 19. No dots. Length, but just short of the length, this pitch. Just sitting up to be spanked. Huh? Man inside the circle, fine leg, and that's beautifully played. That's clever. That's really clever. That's a really good shot. One of, one of Danushka's strengths. He, as we highlighted the other day, he thrives on wood and, and he does play these little dinks and plays them very, very well. But from Udana's point of view, nothing wrong with it. That's what you want. <laughs> Clever again. He's got enough on it. Something they practice a lot these days. Is he going to come back for the second? Yes, he can do that quite comfortably. Solid, that's a beautiful shot, strong wrists. Pump that away for a boundary. That's a mile 11 circle champion shot. It's not easy to hit that length like that. The fuller you are, it's hard to get underneath it. Short end jab. Geez, we've seen some outstanding shots today. Oh, that's whipped away. Whipped away for six runs. That is a perfect way to finish over number two. So 16 runs off that over. 35 for no loss. Halfway through the third over, one run only. They've got to be big boundaries now. That is also just uh, a little trot. That's all it is for one. So two runs off four balls in this over. He's picked up a wicket. That is an extraordinary over. That is magnificent stuff. It has just conceded two runs and also has picked up a wicket. The one of those was a leg by. And in a game where everyone's been scoring at 20 or maybe even 25 and over, how do you bowl an over for a single? Zazai for six. 37 for one. A 
Afridi has just arrived. That is uh, just a little bit of hope, I guess, for the Gold Gladiators. Nice and full, squeezing it down through the third man region, and that's gone for four. That's a my 11 circle champion shot. And he wants a new bat. Andre Russell did earlier. Afridi now wants a new bat as well. But well, very well bowled. Still gone for four. But that's the nature of the game. As a bowler, as a player, you have to understand that. Soak it up and focus on what's next. Slice that away. Has it got through? Yes, it has. Pick the gap. I told you, get it right. Concede four. You're still winning because you're saving your team too. Get the math right. And when you have runs on the board, you're good. He's not happy with these boundaries of Freedy. He knows he's got to be uh, bigger than that. Got to go over for sixes. That's uh, their only chance. A little bit of a uh, chat between the two a couple of balls ago. And that's another boundary. So 14 off that over. He's not happy with Freedy. He's got a bit grumpy tonight. Wasn't happy with their fielding. Shaking his head a little bit as well. 51 for one. Is it going to be out? Yes, it is out. Case Armand has picked him up. We're not going to see the flip at 11:59 uh, p.m. Going to wait a little bit uh, looser, I think, earlier in the day before he gets a flip underway. Case Armand, very good catch, running backwards. Ashan Priyanjan. That bowler that he bowled changed the game. One run, one wicket, takes a catch. Shahid Afridi. He's gone. Too much to do for him too. Well, Shahid Afridi, it's 52 for two. Is it another? Is it another? For K Sahamad? No, it isn't. It's actually another, but it's another six. Last ball. Still having a dip. What's he done to finish? He's picked up another big one. Six more runs. A couple of big sixes to finish. And that is outstanding work from Andre Russell. He is the star, that's for sure. And the Colombo Kings have got up again. They won the Super Over in game number one. They've now won this one in a five over game. There's a look at the match summary. Kings, superb. 96 runs off their five overs, three hours of rain. That's why we got to that situation. Russell was sensational. Evans, a uh, little cameo from him. And Fernando picked up one. Gladiators in reply, 62 for two. And not too many runs of the bat. And uh, wickets were shared as well. But the Kings got up by 34 runs. So it was comprehensive from the boys from Colombo. Righto, there's all the points table at the moment. Up. At number one is the Colombo Kings. They played two, one, two, and their net run rate is really positive. They've got four points. Dumbulla Viking played one, 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 and they've got a couple of points. Jaffna Stallions have also got two points as well. Same result for them at this stage. The Tuskers, Candy Tuskers at number four, two, and haven't won any. And the Gorg Gladiators in the same boat as well, played two, and haven't got any points along with the uh, Tuskers.